Hey guys, what is up? It is your girl Simone here and today in this video I wanted to show you guys my setup for my Instagram reels, my TikToks, and for my Instagram videos. So it's really easy and simple. It just looks a little crazy but I'm so excited to be starting this series on my channel because you guys, you guys have been asking me for, I think we're going on years now. We can add the S to it. <laughs> you guys have been asking me for years to show you guys how to edit, how I do my setup, show you guys what equipment I'm using and to be honest I I am a full-blown perfectionist so to try to figure out how to explain to you guys what I'm doing when I don't even know what I'm doing is a challenge so I just kept putting it off and off but it's 2021 we're going to get rid of that perfectionist mindset and start creating even more worthy content with that being said let's introduce the tech with Simone series <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? I have outgrown my two bedroom apartment and I need, and I'm currently looking for a bigger space, okay? But I pretty much am working in a super tiny space. You guys just don't know that. So I do everything right here. I can't even stretch out both arms completely because it is very tiny, okay? But I make it work, honey. Now on the other side of this door, is the bathroom once you see the end results of how I put everything together you're gonna wonder how do I go to the bathroom I have two bathrooms luckily a little bit of a disclaimer you do not have to buy the world's most expensive equipment over the time I have bought things I've experimented and so I kind of just put everything together the only most recent thing that I have added to my collection are the lights because it's amazing it works for small spaces other than that do not go broke on equipment I want to start off with backdrop paper. I've grown to actually like how uniform it looks. All the links to everything will be down below on my blog. All right, so it comes in a roll. I know it's 53 as far as the width, but I'm not sure how much it is as far as the length, but I had a lot of paper on this thing. I have two already pre-cut pieces. The shorter piece is for when I record YouTube videos, and then the longer piece is when I do anything relating to Instagram or TikTok or IG Reels dimensions are important because there are so many platforms out there today that require different sizing in order to get the best quality and to make life easier and for it to show up the way you want it to show up on these platforms you want to make sure your dimensions are on point and make sense so what I'm gonna do right now is start setting up my area I'm gonna be using some tape you can use any tape you want one super easy to put up super simple and does no damage to the walls all right and it's easy okay it's easy to put together if I am filming YouTube videos I'll put this going sideways one thing I do want to say to you guys is you don't want it to be too low and you don't want it to be too high because you don't want to be able to see where the blue tape is Okay guys, so now that we have the backdrop up, now it's time to get into lighting. The lights that I'm going to be using is actually from a company called GVM. Amazing. They come in a set of three. It's so easy to put together, so easy to use. And that's also how I get my colored background, my colored lighting. These three robots, aka lights, are my best friends. They do the job. They're amazing. They're easy. They're small. And they're so easy to put away. I'm going to include my reel into this video so you can see how I set it up. It's so easy, my loves. So I ended up buying these new lights for my beauty videos on Instagram because I wanted a more consistent look and I also just wanted amazing lights that do the job besides using daylight. And it works through your phone. Another important thing that you will need is one of these. It just makes life so much more easier and it makes things a whole lot more neater. it's hot in here all right so you're gonna want to have one light behind you 
that's what's going to light up the background as you guys always see i can change the colors and you want to have that behind you and you want to have it lower you don't want to be able to see it okay? <laughs> is a ring light it just helps to balance bring some balance versus just having um light from the left and light from the left and light from the right it just brings some balance right in the middle it helps to brighten everything up a little more so i love my ring light i've had it my that ring light has been through it okay since i first started youtube <laughs> when i bought it uh this was one of the most popular ones on the market and so it costs a lot of money but there are so many other options out there. So please, it's amazing, but don't buy it. <laughs> there are so many options out there, okay? So for the miscellaneous section, these are things that I just think are important to have or thing that you kind of technically need is a remote. So I love this remote, probably the best thing I've ever bought, okay? And I love it because sometimes with these cameras, it does zoom in and out very quickly. Right now I'm, use, I'm using the Canon M50 to record, but it focuses quick and it focuses quick, right? Sometimes in case it takes a while or if you're taking photos and the camera's kind of far from you, you can easily click the autofocus right here, which puts you back in focus. You use this to take your pictures or video. And then on the side, it has the options for picture or video. So definitely worth every dollar, all $32 or however, however much it costs. Um, you definitely want to get a chair. I like to use a swinging chair because it makes it easier. Next, I like to use a table. A table is so important. It's you need it it is necessary because i do makeup and hair tutorials a lot of times i have a lot of products in front of me this table is obviously small but it is foldable and it's easy to stack away and put away so and then you want to use a mirror because you want to be able to see what you're doing a lot of times if you're if you're recording a hair video or a beauty video and you are just looking at the viewfinder you are taking a huge risk especially with lace front wigs it might look perfect in the mirror in the viewfinder but when you're editing you're gonna be like why my legs look like that so it's best to always have a mirror so that you can see what's happening in real life you know so all right guys so what you guys always ask me is what camera and what lens am i using okay and i like to use the canon rp with the 35 millimeter lens it works very well together i like the amount of um zoom that this has well it's not zoomed it's a fixed lens meaning that it will only stay at 35 millimeters and in order for me to you know get closer or anything my body me i have to move up or back like I kind of determine how close I want to be to my camera based on how close I put my camera that's kind of what fixed means like you can't zoom in or zoom out and then I have my Canon RP which I love because it does have the flip out option so I can see myself when I when I am recording and then once you put it together this is the camera I also keep two extra batteries because it makes life easier um there obviously are cameras chargers that you can put in the camera and charge the battery as it's recording but i just that is another thing to buy and to be honest i'm just fine with two batteries um most projects don't take me longer than two batteries to record and if they do i'm probably taking a break until the next day so yeah that's the camera that i use the canon rp one of my faves one of the things that I add last into the setup over here is the tripod. Now this can get really, 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 really tall. This part right here, you can slide that up and make it even taller, okay? I'm 5'2", and this would be my man who is taller.
iPhone to record content. So use that for a while and then invest in the other things that will help keep your content looking like top notch, okay? But just use the back camera, don't use the front. The front looks grainy. Use the back, it's better, it's sharper, okay? <laughs> Alright guys, so now that we have everything pretty much set up in front of us, um, I want to talk about this backlight right here. And if you turn the knob on the side, tilt it down. So these lights work through Wi-Fi. So if you look, you can change the channels. Because there's three lights, you want each light to have a different channel. So I have this one at channel 6 and then I have the Wi-Fi already set up. So let's take our phones. I'm going to go ahead and turn my Wi-Fi on. It'll automatically say GVM LED, which is what we want. Swipe to go to the app. I'm going to go to GVM here. And then it looks like this. You'll change the channels here. Right now we have it on 6, so we're not going to change that. And then you just you can easily slide your finger across it. And if you actually look right here, you can see it being changed. Now we're sitting in front of the camera. I turned my table to the side. Either I'll have it in front of me or I'll have it to the side and just move the mirror here so I can see myself. The backlight was positioned going straight like that to get a more dramatic look. Go ahead and tilt it up. Open these a little bit more. And then as you can see, you can see more of the glowing effect. This right here is kind of too far for me. I have all this space right here. You want to move this up closer or you move up closer. You don't want to be too close like this. On Instagram, you see this when somebody scrolls and that's obnoxious. So right here is usually good enough. Some space right here. I have some space right here. And if I want to on Instagram, I can easily crop this into a square video. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, if you do more, you'll get only right here. Obviously, if you do a whole lot of light, you'll get a nice cotton candy effect, which is what I usually like. So that's pretty much it for lighting. Um, as you can see, I'm using four lights, one, two, three, and four. All right. Thanks for watching this video guys. I hope I dumbed it down enough for you guys as far as what I use and how my setup is. Again, everything will be down below in the description box, but it will not be listed in the description box. It will be attached to my blog, okay? And the reason why I'm doing that is because it's so much more easier for people on Instagram to also be able to find the links as well. So it's all in one cohesive area, okay? <laughs> so I'll see you guys in my next video. So if you do end up buying anything or doing anything similar to this setup, please tag me. I want to see it. I want to know if I'm actually influencing the right way. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.